So I'm sure some of us have heard about the word Web3, but even if you haven't, you're about to understand it in a few. Now, the word Web3 itself tells you that there was a Web1 and a Web2 to come to Web3. So what is Web1? Web1 is the era of the internet where all you could do with information was read. You could not change it. You could not update it. You could not delete it. All you could do with information was read. You could only read what was displayed to you. And then we sort of transcended into Web2. And Web2 is now that era of the internet where you could read and write. You could change information. You could update. You could delete. You could insert. You could do a lot with information. And that's the era of the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the Twitters, and the Googles. And then now we are transcending into Web3. And Web3 is majorly the era of the blockchain. Basically, the blockchain is a bunch of computers all over the world connected to each other. And that's where the decentralization aspect of it comes in. The blockchain is decentralized. There's no one individual party that can say they control and own the blockchain. No, it's a bunch of players connected to each other all over the world. Unlike the Web2 solutions and applications, which are all owned and controlled by one party. If you say and do anything that they're against, they can ban your account, they can block your account. And besides, any picture you post on Facebook is not really yours. It's Facebook's picture. So we get into Web3. And Web3, as a disclaimer, has the ability to have everything that is on Web2. So you can easily build everything that is on Web2 and just put it on Web3. It's just that it's decentralized. And one extra characteristic is that it gives you the ability to own anything digital. And that's why you hear NFTs coming up. Is that you now have what is called a certificate of authenticity on any digital item that is on the blockchain, which proves that it is unique. And so people are selling a lot of digital items. You're seeing artists selling a lot. You're seeing Jack Dorsey, who is the former CEO of Twitter, who sold his tweet for a whooping $2.9 million. Now, Web3 gives us the ability. In other words, if you have any replica of my art, I will be able to prove that mine is the original, which you can't do in Web2. And that is Web3 in a nutshell. Cheers.